Ladies and gentlemen, how are we doing today? I'm Mark Fleetwood. This is the Daily Grind Trader. Welcome back. Today, I'm going to be talking about Ravencoin. And this is my first Ravencoin price analysis since my uh, famous or infamous, infamously bad price prediction for a parabolic rise in June, uh, which obviously did not happen. At the time I made the video, I thought there was solid evidence to support it and other coins that had made the same uh, type of move. But nonetheless, it did not happen. The market will buck thee. So the market bucked. And, uh, you know, I got a couple uh, a couple of laughing comments about that video, but, you know, c'est la vie. Today's video, I'm going to give some technical analysis on Ravencoin, where I believe we're looking short term and in kind of smaller windows. I'm going to be looking at the four hour time frame and, uh, be looking at trading scenarios so stay tuned I want to tell you all about it yeah. all right guys before I get started uh, please know I'm not a financial advisor this is not financial advice this is the same disclaimer before every video um, you know I just enjoy doing TA I enjoy sharing my TA publicly and uh, with that being said, there's another gentleman who I enjoy his TAs a lot. And uh, I think you should check him out. The Silverback, the big gorilla here, Silverback Gorilla. So uh, if you go to Silverback Crypto, check him out. I'm subscribed. Um, great guy. He is the like master of the mythical arts of entertainment while having great knowledge. Uh, great TA guy, but super entertaining his videos. You'll be watching for like 30, 40 minutes and I even realize how long you've been watching because he's just like entertaining as all hell. But um, I just wanted to get that out of the way. Uh, support my dude there. He's a, like I said, a hell of a good guy and very informative. All right, so I'm going to get right into it with Ravencoin. Uh, this is on the daily chart right now. I'm not going to stick on the daily chart, but I want to start with this because you see the downward trend line that we just bucked. And you see we were, you know, touch the trend line, go down, touch the trend line, go down. And then we never really got close again until we broke out. The next, the last time we touched it, we broke it. Um, that being said, I'm going to go to the four hour time frame here and adjust this up a little bit. Let's get this looking nice and pretty and easily red. It's one of the things that uh, is just so hard with these charts. It's just hard to go between time frames quickly like I should have like four tabs of Ravencoin open this be like hourly four hour daily weekly um, but you know, obviously I was not that prepared so we came to our trend line we broke it broke up and had a hard retest we retested back to about the bottom of the previous price action and then now we start a nice little trend we're starting a, an upward trend so I'm gonna do here I'm gonna make the trend line for where I believe we are currently running and we are in an action something along these lines <laughs> these lines and I will clear these up as I need to to make these relatively parallel I mean they should be relatively parallel but they're going to be based on the action of the price so they might not be exactly parallel they might be um, broadening or um, closing you know as far as how the channel looks but this is an ascending channel this is an ascending channel of, of price action the price is going up now inside these channels we've had periods of consolidation where we have um, parallel channels inside of the ascending channels and this is one you know I uh, actually saw this on one of Silverback's videos and I was able to actually kind of recreate it on a couple of different charts and and they all played out relatively similarly um, his primary videos are on uh, Chainlink but Chainlink and lots of other cryptos lots of cryptos um, react and move in very similar ways sometimes just you know separated by hours or days or you know, a time frame but the movements are typically pretty similar so you know, we'll have this as our channel. So the channel, the price action, actually no, I'm sorry, put it there. So there was a hard move up into the channel. 
and it broke back down and it stayed inside of this parallel channel until it broke out coming into a channel from the bottom so bottom in top out comes out from the top and from the bottom out from the top typically like 80 percent of the time and from the bottom out from the top now we came out and now it looks like we are making another very similar parallel channel but a much tighter channel um, albeit still a, a parallel channel right now so we're looking pretty much like this for Ravencoin now so what does this mean for us so what this means for me is that I, th I believe that one of two things are going to happen either a this parallel channel will run sideways for quite a while and it'll stay inside this little range so between you know, 6.8 and 6.4 cents so a very small range you know a small window where we're going to be you know four hour candles up and down up and down inside and pretty much everything staying inside this channel until we get near the point where the bottom of this channel intersects the bottom of the ascending channel and that'll be a critical point if it gets to that if it gets that far uh, it'd be critical because if it breaks down on the parallel and the ascending then we have broken out of our upward trend we're going to have to start from scratch and we'll have to check and see what the new channel is going to be is it going to be an ascending channel or is it going to go straight sideways into a parallel for longer term consolidation any of those things could happen but i think what is most likely is that we come across here a good bit to about let's say about the third somewhere around the evening of the third is when we're going to break out and we'll break out towards the top of this channel and we'll get into a price range of about 7.4 7.4 cents so again i think we run this channel and around around the third in the evening we're going to hit this parallel channel or we're going to get to the top of this a ascending channel um, very similar to what we did in these booths here um, but I, I would say it's between it's going to be between the third and the fifth and again that's a very vague generalized um, you know, time frame is a very wide time frame but this parallel channel could go on for or for quite a bit um, with that being said though we have we have our potential buying and selling lines you can buy you know 6.5 cents 6.48 6.50 whatever uh, cent range you want you can buy that and then sell 6.8 and it'd be a small uh, it might be you know a one or two percent profit and you could do that a couple of times especially if you're trading on leverage i don't know if there's any exchanges that have raven coin on leverage but there is there's a potential to make some quick you know quick small change there or you could buy early not necessarily early but you can set your buy order for 6.48 now and then just wait it out you know you'll buy the next time it touches its bottom and then you'll wait for it to come out the top that way you don't have to you can two ways i typically do breakouts i will typically buy the breakout point here and wait for it to ride up or if you want to be very much higher risk reward ratio where the risk is higher and the reward is higher you buy the bottom here and you're going to say hey i know 80 percent of the times so 80 percent of the time i'm going to win this trade and i'll buy this bottom and i'll wait for it to break out the top and then break to this parallel where you go 6.48 to 7.5 7.4 whatever that range might be now you're looking at a very solid profit um, and you might have just had to hold a little bit longer in which case some people were cool with holding a little bit longer and some people just want hey i want that like four to eight hour window where i can get this this window right here i want this breakout right here that's all i want i don't want to hold any longer than that so that's the individual again um so just for a reference um it'd be roughly 16 percent profit from the point uh, from the 6.48 cent range to seven and a half cents and again if you're doing that off of uh off a of leverage if you have a 10x leverage from any way to trade uh 10x would be 157 percent 
profit and 5x would be um, 76 and a half percent somewhere in that range so just give you a heads up there also I want to show you another um, another listing with a very similar parallel channel that has already broken out the top but never really made it to the top here so I'm thinking we'll run close to this bottom of this channel and then break out again for ADA. So this is ADA. ADA had already planned and seen this parallel channel run here and the break out of the top. Uh, this could be a retest and or it could just be um, waiting to get close to the bottom of this ascending channel before it rises back up again. Everything right now looks like it's on the way down, which is why I don't think anything's going to pop up right away. Um, all the RSI and the MACD, like the MACD is coming back down here. It's about to cross back under, which means we could be in for a little bit of consolidation. That should put us at the third for for ADA. And the consolidation here, it's already coming down on Ravencoin, um, which I think if this, if this is almost equal in length and time, that puts us about here, about the third. Uh, the evening of no, that's 8 a.m. on the third before we start to pick back up back to the zero point so again I'm looking for I'm looking for a, a uh, pick back up around August 3rd and um, I'm looking for the potential for uh, you know a 15 percent profit if and you catch the bottom here at uh, you know 6.48 cents 6.49 6.5 wherever you want to go to ensure that you get the buy order um, so we're not far off of that and if you can get the sell you know at the 7.5 there's your you know 15 percent profit and it's not likely going to be more than a couple of days so you make 15 percent you know three days four days tops um, now again you'll want to set a you'll want to set a stop loss for the bottom of this ascending channel so wherever the buy happens, if the buy comes in, you know, here, I would set my stop loss at 6.25. If you buy it, if the bottom happens here, I set the stop loss at 6.3, uh, 6.37, because if this breaks out of the bottom of this parallel channel and breaks the bottom of this ascending channel, this whole path is likely done. Unless, you know, it's just some big whales wicking people out, which is always possible. So and stop losses at your own risk you know maybe go a little bit below that maybe go down to about 6.1 you know come down to about here so if there is a deep wick down you don't get stop lost and then the price jumps up really quickly so be careful with your stop loss if you set them set them the way that you typically would um, but i definitely would make sure to be below this channel below this ascending line so guys that's the video for today um if you liked hit the like button Hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. We'll be making these videos at least three days a week, so stay tuned. More action coming. And as always, until next time, peace.